The infection of this worker at the virology lab has put the spotlight on the risks and safety procedures of labs that deal with infectious agents. Experts say that lab technicians working at P3 labs have to follow strict safety protocols such as entering the lab in groups and staying in there for no more than four hours. The infected worker had been working in such a lab with live animals, which potentially increased the risk of infection. Fully geared with protective clothing, researchers enter a P3 laboratory. Any misstep here could cause a virus to leak out. For the first time in 18 years, an infection has occurred at a P3 lab in Taiwan. Reports say the researcher could have been exposed to the virus while she was removing her protective clothing. If an accident or an exposure incident occurs in the lab, we have to follow regulations and report that at once. We report it to the Department of Health. Sometimes we spray colleagues with a fluorescent agent. When they remove their protective clothing, they must ensure that none of that fluorescent material gets onto their hands. To lower the risks as much as possible, those entering the lab must do so in groups of two or more, and they cannot stay in the lab for more than four hours. The CECC says that the researcher recently infected in the lab had been bitten by a rat, which could have greatly increased the risk of infection. In labs where animal testing is done, there is a higher level of risk because you're working with a live subject. Certainly, there is some difficulty with that. You have to deal with the fact that once the animal is infected, its behavior might change. Laboratories are classified into four categories. P1, labs working with agents that are not known to cause diseases in humans. P2, labs working with agents that may present risk of human infection and illness. P3, labs working with agents that can cause serious and potentially lethal disease, such as COVID. P4, labs working with agents that can cause severe and potentially lethal diseases, for which there is no vaccine or treatment. An infection occurred at a P4 lab in Taiwan 18 years ago when then-senior research specialist Zhang Jiatong was accidentally infected with SARS. Former CDC director Su Yiren says the incident was caused when a lab worker spilled a liquid containing the virus and wiped it up with tissue in violation of the lab's standard operating procedures.